Hello, it's Dr. Elizabeth Alter. Do you know what's in your water? So I know that we all know people that swear by tap water, but I'm here to tell you today the ingredients in municipal water that can be sabotaging your health. So in the latest, latest edition of Holistic Primary Care, they listed the top five types of contaminants found in municipal water. Okay. The first one is volatile organic compounds, otherwise known as VOC. These contain, these include benzene, formaldehyde, tetrachlorothylene, yes, even hard for me to say, toluene, xylene, and methylene chloride. Doesn't sound like you're the stuff you want to be consuming, and we we basically drink our water and don't think much of it. But these are chemicals that we can't see but are affecting our health. Okay, so the second group is persistent organic pollutants, otherwise known as POP. These include the the fatty um, substances like pesticides. Um, they can also be um, pesticide solvents and uh, the, the products of metabolism of certain drugs. And the PCBs, which is also a type of um, pesticide. Um, dioxins and DDT. So these are things that are used um, as chemicals in day-to-day -day living that then end up in the water. So maybe you're avoiding this in your day-to-day, -day, but when you go drink your water, if it's not properly filtered, then you're, you may be consuming low amounts of this. And I have many patients that tell me, you know, I do my best with eating, exercise, I take my vitamins, why, why do I get sick? I, why don't I feel well? And sometimes it's the these chemicals get into into our systems through through the water. So it's very important to to drink clean water. The third is toxic metals. Okay, so toxic metals um, are found in in the water. And the last two are mold, um, and especially. Mold is a toughie. Uh, mold is pretty much everywhere. It's really hard to get rid of. And if it's in your home, if you see it in your home, then that's big trouble because there's all this microscopic mold. But when you actually see mold, that's, that's really bad. Then, then lastly, we have radiotopic, radioactive isotopes like radon. So these are all things that affect our health. Now, how do we get clean water? So there's things like reverse osmosis, charcoal filters, and whole, whole house filtration systems. I personally have a, a Berkey, um, which is, I have it posted, um, I think on Twitter, and I follow them on Twitter, uh, Berkey filters. They're very good. And that way the water goes from the tap to the, the Berkey container and so it does, the water doesn't touch plastic at all and it's going straight through the filtration system. It's also good for um, when there's a storm and you the water is not drinkable, you could actually put it through your Berkey and, um, and get clean water. So I have no stock in Berkey or no association with them. I just use them for my clean water and I know the difference when I drink a different water right away. So once you start having healthy water, you'll know the difference. Well, I hope this helps. And again, thank you for following me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. And have a healthy day.